Compete for prizes! Please welcome the guys who are different in size, Chad Chatters! Yeah! And the Earl! Yeah! Hey, folks, has anyone seen my glasses? Or the controls for this thing? Well, what do you say, Earl? I say we meet the contestants! Yeah! Say hello to Iris, Zoe, Catherine, Ernie Einstein, Isaac, and Ethan. Santa Claus! <laughs> Shush! He's sleepy because I fed him lots of turkey so I could get him here. Santa Claus? It's not Christmas. Yeah, you know the money we had for prizes? Well, I blew it all on a big summer vacation, so now you gotta convince Santa it's Christmas so we get a present we can use as a prize. You want me to con Santa? On the list of things that are naughty and nice, that ain't nice. No present, no prize. No prize, no quiz show. No quiz show, no job! Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Huh? What? Already? It seems to get earlier every year. Are you sure? No. Charles, I'm not sure if fooling a nice old man is the right thing to do. You what? Oh, yeah, it's totally Christmas, right, Catherine? Yeah, it is. Right, Iris? It is. Right, Isaac? It is Christmas. I forgot. You sure? Positive. Now listen up while I run through the Skatuni gameplay. All you gotta do is stay in the game through three rapid-fire rounds. We're gonna knock two of you out at the end of round one, and then drop the second pair of losers at the end of round two. That'll leave two contestants battling it out to see who goes through to the Skatuni Quiz Champ Challenge. Once there, they'll be playing for fame, glory, the chance to become this week's champion and win a prize. You haven't got many decorations up. More decorations, Dudley! Hey, contestants, how do you think we should decorate? Paint the whole thing red and white. I put lots of Christmas trees and fill them with all these decorations. I, uh, even brought a stocking. Uh, to hang by the fire with glee. See? Uh, that just looks like a sock. Dudley, why don't you make who a living work of Christmas art? Now let's get on with the game and play! Hang on or bogus! Okay, Festa Funsters, let's run through the rules. I'm gonna get Gavin and say a load of stuff. Some of it's true, but some of it's a load of baloney. All you gotta do is decide what's bang on true and what's bogusly false. So if you think it's true, you shout... Hang, hang on. on! And if you think it's false, you shout... Bogus! bogus. You've got it, Yule Titus. At the end of this round, the two lowest scoring players are out of the game. And you have as long as it takes Dudley to finish decorating all the way to the top of who? Yay! Who going to look like pretty Christmas present? More pink on left foot, please. Let's play! A man once lived on cat food for his entire life. Catherine. Bogus? It is bogus. You get a point. Darwin wrote the Jungle Book. Uh, bang on? Nope, it's bogus. The planet Saturn would float in a glass of water. Isaac. Bang on? It is bang on. 70% of the world's population is left-handed. Nice to see you're awake, Santa. So much turkey. Bogus. Well done. It is bogus. Some animals can exercise on treadmills. So we... Hang on. My cat uses ours. Weird, but correct. Come on, Iris. The Avengers are known as the world's mightiest heroes. Iris. Hang on. Right! Dogs have been trained to sniff out allergies. Isaac. Bogus? It's bang on! All reindeer are born with an instinct directing them to the North Pole. Santa! Oh, oh bogus! I could never find my way home. <laughs> it is bogus! Polar bears rarely drink water. Zoe. Sounds bogus to me. No, nope, it's bang on! Bobby's first job was a flight attendant. Iris. Bang on? Good answer. It is bang on. A giraffe cleans its ears with its tongue. Zoe. Bang on! <laughs> Correct. How you doing, Dudley? <laughs> <laughs> 
there is such a thing as a fainting goat. Catherine. Bang on. Correct! Oh, and that's the end of the round. And doesn't who look, uh, lovely? Who think orange earring brings out his eyes? Okay, well played, everybody. After some fast and festive quizzing, I can reveal that Ernie and Isaac, you are our lowest scorers in round one. Oh. Don't feel bad, Isaac. Ernie Einstein's a genius, and he didn't make it through. You tried real hard, but I'm afraid you're both out of the game. <laughs> Thanks for playing, but you're out of here. You gave it a go, but you're out of here. What? Uh, are you sure it's Christmas? I've never slept past October before. Huh? He thinks he's being fooled. Quick, Earl, think of something. Uh, give me one commercial break and I'll have an idea. You heard him, Jingle Bellies. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back real soon on... Huh? Saturday! And we are back, Tinsel Teeth. Came up with a great idea to convince Santa it's Christmas. Hey, Santa! Uh, what? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, look over here. Hello, this is Katoonie News. Yeah! Today, the government has moved Christmas to July. Good night. See? It was on TV. So it must be true. How can it be Christmas without Christmas carols, huh? That sounds like a great idea, right, Iris? No, I don't like singing in front of people. Well, I'm sure Catherine will play along. I don't want to sing a song. Santa wants a song. Santa better get a song. But the kids don't want to. Why don't you guys sing a song? Sounds good to me. Ooh! Who love festive merriment? What? I ain't singing. One, two, three, sing. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Guys, enough! Japers, how much turkey did he eat? We gotta think of a way to keep him awake long enough to believe it's Christmas. But first, let's play. Color me quizzy! Okay, Cheesy Chins, here's how we quiz it. Each of you has got three colors in front of you. Red, white, and yellow. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you loads of questions. When you know the answer, just dip your face in the right color and bang that buzzer. Easy! One point for a correct answer, and the two lowest scorers get the boot. I have a feeling it is going to be messy. Oh, I hope it comes off easy. When I painted my room, I got paint in my ponytail and had to cut it all off. <laughs> Trust me, you'd rather have this paint on you than hose paint. Now, you have until Hunty and Bunty Morrison manage to pull a cracker. Come on, Hunty! Let's play! This is the color of a dove. Iris. White. Is the right answer. This is the color of the maple leaf on the Canadian flag. Santa. Uh -huh. What? Who? Red. Correct. This is the color of Big Bird. Santa. What? What's happening? You sleep quizzing, Santa. Cinnamon hearts are this color. Iris. Red. Correct. On a stoplight, this color means yield. Catherine. Red. No, nope, it's yellow. Eggshell and ivory are shades of this color. What do you say, Iris? White. Correct. Come on, Catherine and Zoe. You're playing catch up. <laughs> I have paint up my nose. <laughs> Hey, sleeve sneeze, if you please. This is the most common color of paper. Zoe? White. Correct. How we doing, boys? Hee! We've got a little while yet. Peaches and cream corn are these colors. Iris? Um, yellow and white. Very good. This is the color of a canary. Catherine? Red. No, it's yellow. This was the last name of the lady with seven dwarf friends. Catherine? White. Correct. And that's the end of the round! Hello, a little help here? Nice to 
see you're awake, Santa. Now, let's have a look at the scores. Zoe, you've only got one point. One's better than zero. It's been a blast. I like your attitude. Catherine, how do you think you did? I think I did okay, but I'm not that sure. Sure you did okay, but not good enough. You're both out of the game. Hit it, Earl! Yay! <laughs> Shutters, has Santa fallen for my trick yet? Ooh, I think so, Charles. Cause if not, you're out of a job. Okay, Charles, leave it to me. <laughs> I'm not sure it's Christmas at all. Oh no. Um, why's that, Santa? Well, there's no snow. Snow, right. I'm on it! <laughs> Flake Maker 3000! Oh, you gonna make me a special lady friend, Earl? Just a few flakes, Freezy? Yeah, just a few million. Boy, what do you know, Santa? It started to snow! Uh, what was that noise? I think Freezy's on a roll, but not the kind that comes with dinner. Whoa! A giant snowball! Well, that's the end of the round! But make sure you're back after the break to see how it all turns out! Hopefully we won't be buried under an avalanche! <laughs> because we've still got to find our Skatoni Quiz Champ Challenger, who could win an amazing prize if Santa's got one. So stay frozen to your seats for the final rounds of a very seasonal... Christmas Skatoni! Tony Tinsel Toes, we're into the final round to see who's gonna have the glory of being this week's Skatoni champion. Oh, yeah. Unless we all get splattered by this giant snowball. What giant snowball? Oh, it must have melted. What with it not really being Christmas and all? I'm coming with you, baby. <laughs> On with the quiz in... Mystery Pie Roulette! No, no, no. Where's the Christmas dinner? What? Uh, can't we just... It's not Christmas without Christmas dinner. Now, what shall we have, Iris? We have, like, turkey? Yes. Have you stuffed a turkey yet? Not quite. Then what shall we have after the turkey? Usually it's cookies. With ice cream. Yeah. All eyes on me, Mincy Mush. I'm going to ask you some general knowledge questions. All you have to do is buzz in when you know the answer. Piece of cake. Not exactly. If you get it right, your opponent has to eat one of our magnificent mystery pies. What's in the pies? You know, your basic apple, maybe some grasshopper, liver, and bunions. It's a mystery. Yuck, some mysteries should not be solved. But if you get the question wrong, you have to eat the pie. You have until the Earl manages to catch the turkey. Gobble, gobble, and go! <laughs> According to the song, where was Mommy kissing Santa Claus? Behind the Christmas tree. It's under the mistletoe. You have to eat a pie. Hmm, which one? Uh... Oh, I think that one's got worms in it. Uh, what kind of Merry Christmas is this? The movie White Christmas stars Bing Crosby or Sidney Crosby. Santa? Bing Crosby. Correct. Iris, you have to eat a pie. Hmm. That one's slug flavored. Ugh. What date is Christmas? Iris. December 25th. Is the right answer. Are anything toxic in here? Are mice and toenails toxic? Nope, just gross. <laughs> what bird is traditionally eaten for Christmas dinner? Iris. Turkey? Correct! If you can catch it. <laughs> Pick a pie, jolly guy. <laughs> Brussels sprouts, yuck! He's right, we do taste horrible. Are Christmas trees deciduous or coniferous? Say it, Santa. Coniferous. Correct! She's gone for the squashed fly pie. Say that for later. Later as in the year 3000? Yuck! In the movie Elf, Buddy visits New York to find who? Iris. His dad. Correct! 
Eat a pie, Santa. Nom, nom, nom. Ooh, more Brussels sprouts. I think Santa loved it. I would have to disagree. What red and white curved candy stick is a holiday icon, Santa? Candy cane. Correct. Chow down, Iris. And that one snails, like slugs, only crunchier. Now who's going to Ralph in her hat? Ho, ho, ho. In what season do Australians have Christmas? Iris? Summer? Correct. Santa, eat another pie. Look, a unicorn. Where? <clears throat> Santa? Santa should eat another one. I'll eat one if you eat that fly pie you're saving. She is one tough cookie. And that's the end of the round. But not for the turkey. He's just too cute to eat. All righty, Earl, the turkey's off the menu. Now we need to reveal that our mystery pie roulette winner by just one point is Iris! Yeah! Which means that Santa Claus, you're out of here! You're out of here! Yeah! <laughs> hold it, hold it! You got rid of Santa Claus and his presents? <laughs> You're fired! Oh. Fired? Isn't this the season of goodwill to all men? Silly bucktooth yahoo! <laughs> Never fear. Come on, little buddy. What are we gonna do? We saved the turkey. Now he wants to save our bacon. Hold on! <laughs> yeah! Hey, Santa, you don't mind if we take this, do you? Ho, 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 not at all. Great! Um, Earl? What? It says here that domesticated turkeys can't fly. I know that, and you know that. Just don't tell him that. <laughs> it's a long fall, so we'll be right back to see if it's Splatsville for us, or we're saved in time to find out if Iris becomes the quiz champ champion on... Welcome back, Gobblegums. You're just in time to see Iris in the Quiz Champ Challenge. That's, of course, if we don't fall to our doom. That imbecile! That oh, idiot! No! Oh. Oh. Hey, Judders! Always knew you could do it. <laughs> hey, let me get a present, huh? <laughs> this is... <laughs> Reindeer poo. Oh, yes. I'm very conscientious about always poop and scooping. Oh, I hate manure! So where are the presents? In this sack. What would you like? What would you like to win, Iris? A bicycle? A yacht! A machine that could give me anything I wanted. Aha! In that case, it's time for... Scatoni Quiz Champ Challenge! You've eaten some dubious mystery pies to get here. But now, to be the prize-winning Scatoni champ, you have 90 seconds to answer 10 questions correctly. Do it, and you win yourself a machine that can give you anything you want. But if you don't, well, you can have the reindeer poo instead. <laughs> now, if you don't know the answer to any of them, just shout something silly and I'll move on. Any questions? No. Okay, let's go! What whistles when it gets hot on the stove? Kettle. Correct. Cleopatra was the queen and last pharaoh of where? Egypt. Correct. Penny Brain and Dr. Claw are characters on what show? Bubblegum. Inspector Gadget. Does it take 12 or 17 muscles to smile? 12. 17. Which USA road is longer, Route 66 or Route 20? Route 66. Wrong. What is the 10th letter in the alphabet? H. No! J! What's the most expensive property in Monopoly? 1,000? No, it's Boardwalk! What color cat is considered unlucky? Black. Correct! What kind of leaves do koala bears eat? Eucalyptus. Correct! Stop the clock! Okay, Iris, you are halfway through the 90-second Quiz Champ Challenge! In 45 seconds, you've managed to get four points, but Earl is still willing to help you out with Earl's halfway deal! 
Now, listen up, Iris. I'm offering you two extra points, taking your score up to six. What a nice guy. But if you want them, I'm going to take away 20 of your 45 remaining seconds. Oh, that would leave you just 25 seconds to get four questions right. So, Iris, what do you want to do? Deal. Okay, on with the quiz. Let's play! Italy is a part of what continent? Europe. Correct. What is the largest living species of bird? Flamingo. Incorrect. Ostrich. What is Aladdin's girlfriend's name? Pina. No, Jasmine. A 100-watt bulb used for one hour uses the same energy as a 50-watt bulb for how long? Two hours. Correct. At birth, polar bears weigh one or 20 pounds? 20. One pound! I'm so sorry, Iris, but you're just out of time! You are not today's Scatoni Quiz Champ champion! Aww. How do you feel? I'm good. That's the right attitude. Well, that's it for this week, happy chaps! Where are you going, Charles? I'm worn out. I'm having another summer vacation. Arriva Daichi! What? It is summer! Um, anyway... Miss out on more cartoon quizzing coming your way real soon on... Sanity! Deck the halls with pictures of quizzes. Ah, la, 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 la.